mother's screaming, keep her down, keep her down. The three-year-old is afraid and trying to walk out in, in, to get to her mom in the hail of bullets. Would you like to say anything, Mr. Moore? Yes, go right ahead. I would like to say that I understand that the crimes I committed was bad, but it ain't like because I'm locked up that crimes is gonna stop in Atlantic City just because of me. And I'm not head shocking, I'm HFG, but I made that myself and people that claim they head shot game, they don't have nothing to do with me. My HFG stands for Hustle Sack Grind. They have nothing to do with a head shot game. And I just feel as though this time is too much of a time for me to have a 13 with a 26. That's a lot of time to be away from my kid for crimes that I committed when I was a juvenile. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Mr. Moore. I'll take that into consideration. In August of 2015, Zion Moore was 16 years old and he was charged in a drive-by shooting of again a group of juveniles that were outside in the yard at one rival gang member's home and there were a number of juveniles and Zion Moore was driving and Remy Harris shot. Now the defense says no, no one was hit and, and that is true. Judge, no one was hit. There's a family inside the house. It's right, it's the causeway to Atlantic City. So there's the trauma to citizens, but inside that house was a mother and multiple young juveniles, and the mother and the juveniles were separated, sir, and the seven-year-old was behind a refrigerator, and the mother's screaming, keep her down, keep her down. The three-year-old is afraid and trying to walk out in, in, to get to her mom in the hail of bullets. Mr. Moore is currently uh, at Albert Wagner Youth Correctional Facility. He is serving an eight-year near sentence. That stems from Mr. Moore's first conviction ever. It was an adult conviction. He was waived up as a juvenile. He never, ever had a conviction before that. These offenses for which we are here for today um, happened within a calendar year of that. Uh of course, is the need to deter, and this type of shootings, this type of almost relentless shooting, where people live, back and forth, and back and forth. This gun violence needs to be deterred more than I think words can describe.